a good morning everyone um, I'm, I'm giving this remote session for the first time i have given a few sessions earlier and you know, one in drupal con and few of the camps so this is like new for me too where i'm, I'm, I'm talking to you folks but i'm looks like i'm talking more to myself uh, and then I, I have browsed to you know the sessions which is like going on uh, this year. and then i think this would have been more fun and exciting for me as well if i would have attended this in in person uh, nevertheless i would try to give more insights compared to the information you know which we are overloaded with anyway uh, so today i would be talking about my perspective on embracing the future of drupal with ai innovations technologies and for competitive digital experiences but before that a little bit about me my name is uh, neeraj i am uh, founder ceo of value bound uh, you can find me twitter uh, and mostly on linkedin uh, but at, at value bond we've been working on drupal from drupal 6 days that's like good 15 years back um, and andre's blog has recognized us among a top 10 contributor to drupal ecosystem for three consecutive years from 2016 to 18 and uh, these days, we have built our reputation as uh, Drupal performance experts for our clients, which includes some names like VMware, Nasdaq, uh, Parker Hennepin, and then Claravet. Uh, that's it. And the uh, flow of my presentation would be in, in this order. Uh, first, I would be touching on how the AI might impact Drupal ecosystem, then uh, kind of challenges we are going to face. Uh, then we would be touching on how we can embrace the AI within the Drupal ecosystem to make the big leap, given that every week we see a dozen AI-based apps being released and uh, social media is buzzing with on advice on how to use them. Uh, in the last, I would be touching on like what kind of possible future that lies ahead of us. So before we get into the FOMO of chat GPT, uh, we should reflect on where do we stand? Like what is our ground? Uh, and then we know that like we have development landscape is becoming increasingly complex. Like, you know, the number of devices and, and the browsers that people use to access the web is growing exponentially. The amount of data being generated online is exploding. And, and same is like expectations of users are rising to a different level. Uh, and then business needs to find new ways to differentiate them, themselves, like, you know, and, and to basically to stay ahead of the competition. Like, like for example, uh, we are used to navigate the site using menu system, you know, the entire industry of information architects uh, developed to create better navigation and, and structuring the information for our consumption. Now this would this could change completely. Uh, like chatbots give you uh, conversational experience, uh, and then much accurately and then much faster. Now business needs to provide now not just I would say better user experience, but a different experience altogether. They need to deliver more personalized content, which is not just dependent on user selected preference, but also you know based on the information like what site I'm browsing or what I'm buying or listening to. So far, this was possible to provide this kind of personalization only for companies like Google and Amazon. But the open AI wave 
has opened up you know, completely a new possibilities. Uh, not only this, business needs to automate a lot of tasks nowadays, like any task which is being done by knowledge workers and then is being done repeatedly, the chances are many things can be automated. Let's take an example of scientists working on a dr drug discovery. The time he spends on doing research can be reduced drastically. And then he can spend more time on discovering the new drugs itself. Now, question is like, how are we positioned to face the tsunami of open AI, you know, within the Drupal world? So far, what we have seen is like, what are the possibilities of AI? You know, we're still in the experimentation mode when it comes to using AI in the enterprise and, and solving some real world problems. I see a, a major challenge is that you know, still today, many Drupal sites are still using outdated tech stacks. Like, given that like latest AI frameworks and libraries are often written in newer programming language, such as like Python and Rust, older Drupal stack may not be able to run these languages, which can make it not only difficult, sometimes impossible to integrate AI natively into these stacks you know um, and then ai applications can also generate massive amount of data uh, which, which which can put a strain on the storage and the bandwidth of uh, the current drupal stack you know especially the relational database we've been using um, same way uh, ai application can also be used to generate malicious content such as spam and phishing emails which are hard to detect as now we have built more intelligence to the system here also the older tech stack in, in Drupal which is being used may not be able to detect and filter this kind of content which can put the users at risk now when we are talking about challenges there is, there is huge opportunity for to, us to grab you know, just last month I was reading a McKinsey report, which is like I just took a screen grab. You know, Gen AI can boost revenue of hoping like 240 to 460 billion dollars in marketing and sales for P2P business alone. We are talking about just one vertical, one function. You know, and and within the marketing tech stack, Drupal is like an open source leader in the DXP platform, right? So but if we want Drupal to be competitive in the future, we need to embrace AI, right? Like AI is a rescue for us. Like, and then for this, we need to start planning now. Now means now. Uh, like AI is like one of the most promising technologies for improving the user experience and then driving business growth. So Right. It's like what kind of strategies we should work on to leverage this and make this our, our, our growth engine. And I'm talking about for Drupal world. Now, out of many use cases, I know there are three areas which I see AI can make huge impact in Drupal used, especially in the enterprise world. One is like, how do we generate the information? How do we access the information like search and navigation? And then how do we secure the information like assets and application itself? Uh, by now, we are familiar that like uh, a natural uh, language generation techniques enables AI to produce high quality, contextually relevant content. Uh, though in in last six months it it it's, uh, has died down and we know that AI is not going to replace the content creators, but definitely it can help us to improve our content creation process and and take us to a different scale altogether. And and this is good for marketers, right? But but how is this going to help Drupal? You know, traditionally, we have been remain focused on 
improving the content publishing experience, content governance. How about you know focusing, you know, fusing the content research using AI plus writing with the help of AI and SEO validation of the content all within the interface of Drupal. Do you think this would put Drupal in the driver's seat in the DXP business? And, and this is real. Like now I took a screen graph from uh, one of the startup scale net and we've been working on uh, with their API, how can we bring everything, what they are offering in, in their interface? How can we bring everything within the Drupal ecosystem? So they don't leave the you know, Drupal itself. Now this will help not only to save time and resource, but ensure that content is consistent with the overall brand of the site. Like and I imagine you know, the large enterprise you have hundreds of people who generate the content like how, how do you ensure the consistency is maintained you know this is like great now another aspect would be moderation like, you know in today's date engagement with user is super critical right now one of the important aspect of it is the feedback and, and the comments on the content which user does now we have been like you know uh, marketed Drupal as a good platform to build the community side, right? But somewhere it lagged behind in the era of Facebook and Twitter. So regions have not been so great experience in I would say content moderation. You know, this could be really thing of the past, like, like you know, if we leverage AI in this. AI could play a really critical role in flagging inappropriate content or detecting spam at a scale. This would overall help in improving the quality of user-generated content as well as uh, protecting users from harmful content. And, and when we look into the personalization, till now for the content personalization, most of the time, we are dependent on other enterprise applications. Like even in Acquia, we have Mautic, right? Same way there are like tons of other applications. And in all these cases, like output is what? It's more like a pop-up recommending the content. But now we can do this within the realm of Drupal and, and within the interface of Drupal frontend if we are using you know, a new age frontend framework. But then how this would be uh, different than intrusive pop-ups being shown right now. So again, I took a screen grab of one of the publishing house. Like you know, we know that many in the publishing industry having large wallets have been experimenting with this already where uh, you read one piece of content and as you scroll, they suggest you content based on the persona created by their algorithm. Now. Given the data set, AI can collect and analyze, this would be at a different scale, right? Like, and, and this is what brings the second aspect, like, you know, like how are we discovering the content itself? Right now, what we do, we, we are searching for content using, you know, search engines like Google and Bing, and then navigate our, our system through menu systems. So effectively, uh, I would say information architects, as well as a US expert, as an industry evolved in the last two decades to you know, primarily to improve content discovery experience, to make it easier for the user, to make it intuitive. Now, we have like even UX labs, like, you know, who, who provide a service, which helps us to make content discovery a better experience. And then their output have been what? and an optimized navigation and search systems. Now, I see that with an you know, chat GPT and, and BART, this is gonna be disrupted. You know? NLP-based chat bots are able to understand the context and uh, provide information like more accurately and then engage the users. Uh, this saves a lot of time in discovering the right content compared to standard navigation systems, which we've been using it, like, you know, and and I, we see that more and more enterprise been asking for this. How how do we do it? Like you know, imagine like one of the intranet we we, we have built 
uh, one of the purpose was to employees are able to find the information related to uh, the insurance policies. Now this, this used to be, again, you know, you, you go through the standard navigation system. Now with the chatbots, you just ask for information and you get it like you know, very, very accurately. Uh, if we embrace a newer technology-based framework, natively for Drupal, this would definitely open up many possible possibilities of collaboration. Um, and then I've, so, so far I've mentioned about like content generation and then improving the content discovery process. And then, but, but if, what, if you're doing this right and at a scale, what would happen? Like you would attract, you know, the people from the dark world, right? Like who would like to exploit the systems to their advantage. Now here also AI can play a really big role and then become a good friend of Drupal. Now AI can augment security measures to protect against evolving cyber threats, like you know, identifying suspicious activities and patterns. Now, AI can be used to scan Drupal sites for vulnerabilities. This can uh, help to identify and uh, fix security vulnerabilities before they can be exploited by attackers. It can enhance uh, user authentication mechanism, utilizing techniques such as facial recognition and behavioral biometrics for a more secure and frictionless login experience. Now, and then we don't have to rely just on CK editors filtered to avoid malicious content. We can block users and bot generated malicious content more effectively using AI. We can detect the spammy content. AI can be used to analyze uh, user behavior on Drupal sites. This can help us to identify suspicious activities such as brute force login attempts or uh, account takeover attempts before that's been being tried, right? So, from my perspective, this is definitely these three areas can make big difference to Drupal. But uh, so far, when, when, when we have looked into you know, multiple possibilities, like, you know, this could be reality only if we implement them. So given that uh, early days uh, of the start of like, we are living the massive user, usage of EIML, right? Like, the tools and services itself are evolving. So we should be investing in selecting the right tools for right use cases. Definitely that, that plays a big role. So similarly, uh, we need to train our team for AI. You know, suddenly because of this boom, there's high demand and, and you could be you know, gasping for talent even if you have buy-in or funds available to start the program. Like, you know, even for us, we've been the same scenario. Like you know, we, we have people who've been asking for to implement some of the Genai products, but we don't have the talent available in the market. But so far, you know, as per you know, our experience, training would be an scalable and cost efficient way to build the talent. Of course, it would take a while, but given that we don't have the talent pool available, we don't have a choice. Now. While there is a strong technical evidence, there also needs to be conviction from business perspective as well, right? Like, and then as I mentioned, this is still evolving. You know, entire industry is still doing proof of concept to find the efficient uses within their existing workflow. So we have to be open to experimenting, testing, and 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 optimizing to ensure we have achieved or, or if you want to achieve the desired business growth. Um, if we talk about the future, like I see AI integrations is a massive opportunity. So same McKinsey report I have referred to earlier predicts like Gen AI can deliver economic benefits in tune of 2.6 to 4.4 trillion dollars annually. This is like massive. Uh, right. Uh, fortunately for us, I would say uh, cost of AI integration is decreasing, and it's not that AI was not there. Like large enterprise like Google and Amazon have been using AI ML for fairly long time, 
but chat gpt has democratized the industry they made it accessible for everyone today it is available at fraction of the earlier price now given the high demand availability of ai resources is increasing uh, the demand for ai powered solution is also increasing we see every day new product launches uh, around different use cases in in different industries and on on top of that like another report which came you know, was like reading gartner also predicted that like chatbots will become a primary customer service channel within five years right now i we have covered like most of the topics we're talking about now in conclusion i would say uh, ai integration in drupal unblocks a range of benefits for us it improves user experience by offering personalized product services and content suggestions provide better customer support based on user behavior and then safeguards user data too right? and consequently if you do all this and it, it increase increases revenue for the business right so planning for ai integrations now will ensure that business stays ahead of the competition provide uh, exceptional user experience and then mitigate cyber threats too so embracing the future of drupal with ai is a strategic move that can transform the digital experience empower business with advanced capabilities and, and really pave the way for sustainable success in the ever evolving digital landscape now this was like my perspective of how ai might impact drupal now uh, i would like to hear your thoughts and and questions you might have and and learn from you all right thanks yeah if folks want to come up to the mic here if we have questions and um don't be afraid of the mic. It's your friend. Hello, thanks. <clears throat> um, just a little bit of background. Um, I work on personal AI assistant technology. So this is a space I'm fairly interested in. Uh, one thing I want to toss up just in general for um, some thoughts on how um, you know, developers of or makers of Drupal sites in particular uh, can help uh, their sites, say, be useful um, to people who are using this sort of technology. <clears throat> um, probably the biggest thing would be um, consider that AI is another type of user uh, that's very different than sort of your normal human user. Yep. And Probably the thing, at least um, from my experience developing some of this technology, uh, accessibility ends up Good. being a very nice proxy for how uh, some of the AI tech will use your site. So a lot of the efforts uh, that are going into accessibility also end up being uh, the sort of thing that uh, will make some of this technology work a little better. Right. That, that's definitely, you know, you know you, what, what you say is like completely right, right? Like in today's date, I don't see that we have to, you know, improve. We have to change. You know, and and you, have, you said it right, accessibility, right? Like, and, and that this also has to be disrupted. Like you talk about information architects and then UX lab, right? Like where, we put a lot of you know importance to accessibility, and which is purely based on what is written there, and then how it's the labeling or we are how we are we organizing the content. But this would change, right? Like, so yeah, you're right. I'm not sure of the, was there any questions in this. Any other questions for folks here? All right. Um, well, I guess, I guess that is it then. Thanks very much. Okay. Thank you very much for listening.